Hey, welcome back to the Espresso Outlet YouTube channel. Had a lot of new cool stuff. I told you hit subscribe because we're going to be unveiling a couple more things. And today is one of those days. So today we have the new Turin DF54. And I just want to go over just really quickly about the DF54. It is the smaller brother, you could say, to the DF64 Gen 2. So it has 54 millimeter burrs. You can see it's quite tiny. Now this machine, it is a tall machine. It is a large, kind of like on the small end of a commercial machine. So it does look very small next to this machine. But I did post some pictures on Facebook and just around online. And you can tell that this grinder, it's going to be an awesome, very popular size for the home kitchen. But today I have already just pulled a shot. I pulled one shot just to dial it in real quick. It was pretty good. Uh, we have these Bolivian beans that I roasted. They're getting a little bit old, so it's not going to be like a crema bomb or anything like that. But we are just going to pull a shot real quick. So we do have this grinder. Uh, just a little bit of background. It has 54 millimeter burrs. They do just come with the stock stainless burrs. You can see off to the side here, it has... A stainless button which was one of the things that we really complained about on the df64 gen 2 uh, it was some sort of a european compliance thing where it couldn't be a metal button uh, if you're getting a df64 gen 2 those buttons will be metal from here on out um, but on these df54s we just said we're not doing that anymore let's do these stainless buttons you can see that it comes stock with one of these little rubberized tilters and it's really cool because it's rubberized so porta keeper we've been selling these i'm the porta keeper dude uh, we've been selling something similar to that for quite some time, but this is like a rubberized version, and so far it seems just very cool. So it holds your cup like so. You don't need to take it on and off. Um, there are a few things that are going to be a little bit different on this. You can see that it has the plastic dosing cup, which honestly I'm a huge fan of personally because when I put it into my porta filter, I can actually see where my grounds are, and I can kind of pre-distribute before I dump them in. So I actually kind of like, from a function standpoint, the clear cup. But from an aesthetic standpoint, the metal cup definitely does look a little bit better. You can see that it's really taken on the styling of the DF64 Gen 2 with this polished aluminum adjustment ring. Now, one thing that is going to be a little bit different, though, is the dial indicator on this. It's actually a little nub that gets screwed to the front of the grinder instead of the DF64 uh, Gen 2 and even some of the older versions, the DF64 and then the DF83, they actually have a metal dial adjustment ring that fits around the top so this has this nice little plastic nub seems to work great looks pretty good uh, inside something that you can't see is the ion generator or plasma generator so that is one thing that we were just very adamant to get into the df64 gen 2 we added it to the 83 and now it's in the 54 so i mean it is just an awesome addition to the turin lineup of grinders because it keeps your countertop so much cleaner with these ion generators if you're not familiar with what that is it makes a small amount of plasma inside the chute and that plasma just really keeps your grinder clean and also prevents just static so when you grind beans you do get the static so let's just get going i actually have 18 grams pre-weighed out i'm just going to dump it in oh one more thing it does have the anti-popcorn built in so that's really cool if you don't want to run the bellows you can totally run it without the bellow uh, one thing that is a little bit different is it has this lighter wood accent. So, I mean, this is a more budget-friendly grinder. So, the DF64 Gen 2, it's $400. And it is a fantastic grinder. This one, we're putting out there for $229. So, it's not quite half, but we're talking substantially less. So, you're going to see stuff like the plastic cup and a little bit different wood accents. But, I mean, honestly... It's not that big of a deal, in my opinion. I mean, I think it looks absolutely awesome. So let's dump it in. Put our cup in. And you can see it just goes just perfectly into this cup. No mess. Now they are 54 millimeter burrs. And 54 millimeter burrs, they are gonna go a little bit slower than something like a DF64 or DF83. DF83 is gonna be extremely fast. The 64 is going to be kind of in the middle. So that took, I don't know, we can look at it on the video. But just look how fluffy those are. I mean, just beautiful, fluffy. It looks like there's almost too much coffee there because it's just that fluffy. Now the grinder is running right now. You heard it grinding. It is still running. I, I think it's pretty 
in my opinion, um, pretty quiet. So let's turn it off and let's prepare a puck. Today I'm using, it's going to be one of the newer machines that we have out there. We're calling it the Turing Capriccio. And it's kind of a cool, on the smaller end of a commercial size machine. It's not like NSF rated or anything like that. But overseas, they are using these like in restaurants and stuff. So, I mean, it is a really cool machine. Really simple and I've really kind of been enjoying it. So, let's put that in there. We are going to WDT. Kind of get everything perfect. And let's do the TM. Give it a little polish at the end. So we're gonna move the camera. It might not be a pretty shot at all, but we're worried about taste more than the looks. I could tell it's running pretty slow. I mean, I probably need to back it off by maybe one setting, but it's flowing nicely now. I didn't have the cut quite centered, so we're making a huge mess. So I mentioned we keep it pretty simple today. We just pulled a quick shot. I just wanted to show you this. Really only had it for maybe about an hour now. Took a few pictures of it, been playing with it a little bit. Let's try the shot. Just do a very nice Bolivian coffee. So we're gonna do a lot more testing with espresso and pour over, and we're gonna do more detailed videos on this because I mean, this is just the introduction. Hopefully you can hear me today. Uh, my microphone cable broke, so if it's a little bit more muffled than usual, just wanna let you know that. But please hit that like and subscribe. If you got any questions about the new Turin DF54, uh, you can feel free to email us or leave some comments below. We'll try to get back to you as soon as we can, but for today, thanks for watching.